Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Especially because I'm about to eat a lot of food. Alright, so we are at one of our favorite resorts, but well, not our favorite resort. Wait, my favorite resort? We are at Speak for yourself. Sarah's favorite resort, but not my absolute favorite, but one of them. Wilderness yeah. Lodge, because tonight we are back with our friends the Gillespies, and we are eating Whispering Canyon, and they have a vegan, endless olive oil. I think they, they, it's they, called plant-based skillet, so plant it's like skillet. we've had in the past, but it's an unlimited and all plant-based and they've got cornbread, so I'm gonna eat all the cornbread. It's the Gardein sausage and Gardein chicken. Yeah. And I can't wait. And jackfruit pork. Oh, I love jackfruit pork. Yeah. pork. I know. So lots of barbecue sauce. But first, we're about to sneak over to the DVC Lounge building. They and have a companion bathroom. And, we're gonna, and we have to do my shot real quick. And we're gonna show you what it means to be going through IVF and living in Disney World. So Sarah and I, I don't think we've got set plans, minus the run in the morning the visit to the IVF doctor and going home to edit the vlog. So like we do have a busy morning, but here's the activities for 4th of July here at Wilderness Lodge. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do. I mean, we've never been here for it. Besides, I was here in 2000. Yeah, we've never been in the parks, not yeah. Wilderness Lodge like specific. We've never right. been Or like to in see Disney that the World. resorts would have like Yeah, stuff. I didn't even think they would. With it being so hot, it's just... So nice to be sitting here in front of the Casey Jr. train room fireplace. IVF shot number Hi. four, right? Yeah, number four. Tomorrow we go back to the doctor. That's crazy. At 9 a.m. So today I drove Peter to make sure we could get here in time. Um, and for the rest of the week I'll have the car. And so I'm just like getting caught up on Instagram and stuff that I didn't get a chance to do today because it's been crazy. Yeah, schedule will be a little wacky for the next yeah. two, or three no. weeks. Also, but Also, the medicine doesn't have to be refrigerated, but it well, has to be like under 77 degrees. Yeah. So we can't like go out after this. Or, like, so Sarah's, out Sarah's out. wheeling and dealing some secretive, non-FDA approved infertility drugs in her purse right there. Here we go. Sarah's got her Disneyland Diamond Edition from our honeymoon. And we got the IVF goods right here. Nothing like Oh, this is Sarah setting up the, the in Instagram shot for the Baby Rooker Project. Yep. Ready for IVF shot four? I feel good. 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 You look good, and that makes me happy. All right, so add that to the list of strange and cool things that happen when you live in Disney World. Oh my World. gosh, we did our trigger shot for an IUI in the parking lot here before. Yeah. Interesting. And now we've done an IVF <laughs> stim, stim shot in the DVC bathrooms. But now we're heading over to meet our friends over at Whispering Canyon to get the all you care to eat vegan skillets. I told Sarah earlier, I like looked at my training schedule for the 50K and pretty much after the month of July, it is ridiculous. Like I'm averaging 35 to 40 miles a week. So we're gonna go big. So I'm not gonna worry about this meal or a couple other meals. I'll probably have a couple other cheats this month before like, I mean, I'm still gonna average like 30 miles, 25 to 30 miles a week this month, but it kind of gets crazy. We got the two troublemakers at the table over here. <laughs> Perfect timing. Goofy. Peter is known to rile children up, so we put them together. <laughs> Sarah was not a good vlogger and she forgot to vlog the menu. But we're getting the plant based skillet. We'll just show you it in person. And I got a Coke and Sarah got water. No uh, endless milkshakes for us today. Vegan cornbread. Peter already said we're going to ask for more. Look at this. You can't even really tell the difference. There's the vegan skillet, the sausage, the chicken, the potatoes, the green beans, whatever that weird concoction is. And the traditional. What is that? The pig. The pig. Nice. And if you're right, you just eat lemons. <laughs> you don't know it. All right, plot twist. Well, first of all, that was absolutely full. Ryan lost his family. <laughs> But he's, they've convinced us to go to the Grand Floridian, so we're gonna go 
drive over to the Grand Floyd and hang out there for the night, stay in the air conditioning still. Oh, we got them. We found them. Um, but we're gonna go over there and hang out there and just digest all this ridiculously good tasting food. Do you think this is nice, peace and calming? Not if you're red. You gotta burn off all the food you just ate and introduce yourself to a bunch of strangers. Go, 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 go. Scenery change. Woo, woo, woo. We are now at the Grand Floridian. We hang out with our friends. We're gonna stay inside mostly because you know. They've got two cast members that like they've become friends with. They always take like these cast members that become their friends, and the cast members love that. And they're gonna go see them, but we're gonna stay in the but lobby. They're, they're working, so it's not yeah. like they're gonna like hang out with them. I think it's just two women that they like at the quick service here. Yes, and then they want to watch the fireworks later on, about an hour, hour and fifteen. But we're not gonna go watch them from outside. But we're just gonna hang out in the lobby. We'll see them. Maybe Wes will play. You know we love a good Grand Flirty and hang out. This guy is super pretty. Check it out. Beautiful blues and aquas over here. And you pan this way and it's just a beautiful sky. It's like pastels. <laughs> get it, sky, get it. Oh my gosh, Sarah just saw. There's been so oh. many lizards. It's huge. It's huge. Oh! It's falling. Are they leaving? I think they are. What time is it? 8.21, I think they're setting up. You know what? This is a call for the good old My Disney Experience. You know what? This is true. Did you know that you could look up the Grand Floridian Lobby Pianist or the String Quartet on MDX? Sarah did. There's no more pianists. What? How come it's set up? What? Oh no, it says last one is 8.20. Oh my god, what time is it right now? 8.22. So this should be any minute. Wes. Wes, where are you, Wes? I need you, Wes. Wes, yes. He busted out the iPad. That means at least one more. I thought he was done, but he's got at least one more. Just curious, guys, when IVF is all done and good and successful and everything, um, you guys still gonna enjoy watching the Brickhouse Project every day when we're just like doing this? Not right away, but like when Sarah's like eight, nine months pregnant, like ready to pop. This is just what we're gonna be able to do it every day. We're still going to Disney World. We'll just. Sit in lobbies all day, every day. Oh, I've never heard them play this. No, I Love it. Our friends went to go watch the fireworks, but we gotta keep that medicine and air conditioning, so we'll gladly relax on this couch in front of these beautiful flowers in front of my best friend. I'll do the message in a second, but I'll tell a quick story time. Because we met like one of the greatest families tonight at the Grand Floridian. The mom, dad, and daughter. And they all watch us, and they're from Philly, right? Mm -hmm. They're from Philly. And we just want to say thank you, because it's meeting families like you three that we just sit and talk with for, what was it, like, end up being like 30 minutes almost? Yeah. That are just so genuine and remind us that like our viewers, like you guys are the best. And that's why we all get along so well. Like, we love meeting each and every one of you. Because you come from like all walks of life, different parts of the country, different states, different parts of the world, and like we all just get each other, and that's what is so amazing. Like this dad was talking to me about how like the greatest thing in his life is his daughter, and I was like, this is I'm talking to Sarah's dad right now, and I was like, this is the kind of dad I want to be, and I hope we I think they're gonna be there for the next couple of days, and if we run into them, I promise we'll go to Gasparilla, or not Gasparilla, what's it called Meisner's, the floating mm -hmm. bar for Meisner's. We'll grab a drink. Um, but it's just like incredible. Like Sarah was talking to the mom, I was talking to the daughter and the dad, and it's just like, we were just like pals and we never met before. All of you guys, 
are our friends already, and that's why it's so easy when we meet each and every one of you. We just like just, we, the conversation just roll off our tongues, and it's the best. Thank you all so much for all the love and support and being our friends. And for always saying hi if you see us when we're out and about. Always Because we want to talk to you. Yeah. And thank mm -hmm. you for all, everything in person. Yes. All right. July 1st, new month. Happy birthday, Emily. Two messages. Today is the monthly message from Frederick Buchner. And it says, one life, on this pl one life on this earth is all that we get, whether it is enough or not enough. And the obvious conclusion would seem to be that at the very least, we are fools if we do not live it as fully and bravely and beautifully as we can. That is, you just like scratch it off and put the Brookhart Project too. Mm -hmm. And I just realized this, look at this. July 27th, moved to Florida to your anniversary. That's crazy. But our next message is from Karen Lamb. A year from now, you will wish you had started today. I dig it, Karen. All right, guys. We're ready to sign off. Got a big morning tomorrow. It's today back was day to four doctor. of stem medicines for IVF. Sarah goes back to the doctor by herself because I'll be at work. But it's just blood work and it should go well. I'll have an ultrasound. And you'll have an ultrasound. So when you're watching this, Sarah will already be back from the doctor. So I'm sure check out our Instagram. We do not do the study information. We will tomorrow. But we will tomorrow. If you are antsy and you can't wait until tomorrow's vlog goes up, go to the Brookhart Project or the baby brookhart project on instagram and i'm sure sarah's gonna post an update there yeah so thank you all you guys are really the best we love meeting you guys and hanging out with you guys and just talking to you guys on emails instagrams mm -hmm. postcards it's good to be home i almost said it's great to be home but it's not what we say <laughs> it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.